Hello and welcome to Time Series Forecasting. In this video, I'm going to talk about forecast accuracy and I'm going to show you various models and then we're going to see the accuracy of those models to choose the best model among uh, those. So let's get started. And here I'm going to show you a couple of examples and my first example is with the seasonal data. We split our data into two parts into a training set and a test set. We fit our model on the training set and then we test for the accuracy of the model on the test set. And this is the beer production data that we talked about earlier. And our trading data set is from 1992 to the fourth quarter of 2007. And our test set is from 2008 onwards. So let's go ahead and uh, split these uh, two sets. I'm going to call our training set bear 2 and uh, our test set bear 3. And then using uh, three methods, the average method, the naive method and seasonally naive method, I'm going to forecast uh, 10 time periods in the future. That is 10 quarters in the future for this specific data set. And I'm going to save each of uh, these forecasts. Here the goal is to test the accuracy of the model based on uh, the test data. What we are going to do is we're going to use this accuracy function and the first argument which is going to go into this uh, function is our saved forecast. And our second argument is our tested data set. So remember we're going to fit the model using uh, this data set, our training data set and then test the forecasting errors on uh, this uh, out of sample data which is BR3 in this uh, case. So let's go ahead and test for the accuracy of each of uh, these three methods. And here, remember, we are interested in the, the errors of uh, the test set. So looking at uh, the root mean squared error, for the average method, it is 38. For the naive method, it is 62. And for the seasonal naive method, it is 14.31. So it can be seen that the seasonally naive method is giving us the minimum error and this error is out of sample error because we are applying this forecast method to a data set that uh, was not included while uh, estimating this model. Even looking at uh, this um, graph we are getting the same picture that seasonal naive method it is uh, capturing the seasonal patterns and we are getting the same story from uh, this test set that this method, the seasonal dive method, it is producing uh, the minimum error. So let's go ahead and look at another example. And in this case, I'm interested in the non-seasonal data and uh, we have Google data and I'm going to split this data into two parts. From day one to uh, day 200 will be my training set and from uh, 201st day to 240th will be my test set. Let's save these and then we're going to save uh, all these uh, forecasts. And we are forecasting, remember, 40 days in the future. And uh, let's uh, test for the accuracy of uh, each of these models. And again here, our first argument in the accuracy function is our saved model. And our second argument is the test set, which contains uh, 40 observations. So again, let's look at the root mean squared error. And uh, the drift method in this case, it is giving us a minimum error, which is 14.07. And even uh, if we look at other errors, for example, mean absolute error, even this error is minimum for the drift method as compared with the other three methods. So we can uh, conclude from uh, the accuracy measures here is that uh, drift method is performing the best. And remember here that uh, these forecasting errors, these are the mean errors from our forecasting errors that I described earlier. And these are our out of uh, sample errors. So in this case, the drift method is performing the best. So that's how you use forecast accuracy to compare various methods. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.